Hey guys, it's Lori from Peace Nine Art here. And I am so glad you're here with me again today. Really appreciate you coming back. This time I'm using uh, some more colors, more than just black, white, and blue. I decided this time I'd bring in red, yellow, and orange together with the black, white, and blue. Get some spring colors going on here. I know it's autumn, it's cold, it's ugh. but let's see if we can brighten things up a bit, right? So I've got my canvas in place, got some white down on there to help spread things out, and I'm just going to get going here. Looks like I've already got a little bit of mud going on, so that's not a good start. Now there's a pretty stripe. That's what I wanted to see. That's better. Okay, come back up this way. coming out now. I've got some gloppiness going on. That's okay. So that lighter blue coming out there. I love this particular technique. It comes out so pretty. Look at that bright yellow. See if we can go along beside it and not cover it up. Isn't that pretty? I love how this works. Love that. And yeah, I need to tip it back this way a little bit so it doesn't all go flying off the other direction. But I am loving how that looks. Ah. Give this a spin, start spreading it out. Oh, no, no, stop, stop, stop. Too much one direction. It's almost like a cartoon design because of the very, very thin black lines in there. I love that. Okay, let's see if that helps a little bit. Yeah, that's better. Switch just a little bit more. It doesn't really look that much like fall. It looks more like a wildfire. Wildfire on either side of a river valley, maybe. A little bit more spin there. Huh. Wow. Okay, I'm happy. Huh. Yeah. This traveling waterfall technique really comes out nice, folks. Really happy with how that looks. I don't think any of my colors really disappeared in this one. I didn't have gold in there, that's why. <laughs> Whenever I use gold, it disappears. 
but I didn't have gold in this one, so. I do have a few little bits of cells popping up here and there. And that makes me happy. I'm going to let this sit. I think it's a little bit tilted slightly to one side, so it's probably going to move a tiny bit. Hopefully not a whole lot more. So I'm pretty happy with the way it looks right now. I'm going to wash my hands and then I'll bring you down for a close-up. First off, let me show you inside my cup. I got cells inside my cup. I didn't get really much in the way of cells in my painting, but I got cells or at least lacing inside my cup. It's crazy. And it kind of, if you tilt it out just right, even looks maybe a little bit like a dragon face. And I kind of like that. Okay, so let's come back up here. Have a look at this. Pretty traveling waterfall that I got. A little bit of a wonky paisley pattern going on there. Really, really happy with how that looks. Gonna have to do more of these. Because these make me really, really happy. Getting close for a spot or two here. Color's got a little bit muddy there, but it's not bad. It's, it's not terribly muddy. And it kind of helps bring out the spots where it's really bright, like that red there veins of red. Muddiness is not a totally bad thing when it helps provide some contrast for the really bright areas. Bring it back up here to get the whole picture again. And there we go. So please like, subscribe, do all those lovely things that we like to have you do. Please comment on this. Let me know what you think. I love to read your comments. Y'all take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.